Hi Girl Scouts, my name is Lindsay and I am the Program Manager with Girl Scouts of California Central Coast and today we are going to be doing the Junior Flowers Badge together. Let's get started. Okay, so on the table I have all of the materials we are going to need which include a notebook, a pencil, some scissors, some fruit that comes from flowers, coloring utensils, an iron, some fresh flowers, some printed coloring pages, and some wax paper. Step one of the Junior Flowers Badge is to uncover the science of one flower. So for this step, we're gonna walk around my town and we're gonna find five different flowers. We're not gonna pick them, we're just gonna observe them with our eyes and we're gonna take notes in our notebook. You can either sketch or write down what you see and make note of any flowers that have a scent because that's gonna be helpful for step two. Let's go explore. Step two of the Junior Flowers Badge is to look under the petals. So in step one, we walked around and we looked at different types of flowers. But now we are going to go back and visit one of the flowers that had a scent. And we are going to watch this flower until something comes to visit it. In your notebook, write down what comes to visit the flower, how long it takes for something to come visit the flower, and why do you think flowers have scents? Let's go watch. of the Junior Flowers Badge is to find out how flowers can help people. Did you know that some fruit actually comes from flowers? Can you think of any examples off the top of your head? If not, feel free to do an internet search for some more examples. Today, I have an orange and an apple. Both come from flowers and we're gonna make a snack out of these. Let's go. So I sliced up my apple and my orange and now we have a healthy snack. Okay, so step four is to have fun with flowers. And for this step, we are gonna make a flower bookmark. Yesterday, I picked some flowers from my own yard and flattened them in between two heavy objects. And now I'm going to place the flattened flowers between two sheets of wax paper. And then you're gonna have an adult help you with the next step to iron this together. So I iron the two pieces of wax paper together with the flowers in between and I cut around the edges to make it the length and the shape I wanted. And now we have a bookmark. The last step in this badge is to send a message in flower code. What does that mean? Flowers are often sent as gifts to people for many different reasons and that is sending a message in flower code. For example, this past weekend, I gave my mom a bouquet of flowers to wish her a happy Mother's Day. But the flowers don't always have to be alive to send a message. So for this step, we are going to find some coloring sheets with flowers on the internet, and we're gonna print them out, and then we are going to color them and arrange them however we would like. So for this, I have printed out a couple different coloring sheets and we're gonna cut them out and we can arrange them however we see fit. And I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thank you so much for following along during this program. We cannot wait to see your completed program pictures. Please send any photos to media at girlscoutsccc.org for a chance to be featured on our social media channels. And to see the rest of our at-home programming, visit girlscoutsccc.org.